Good morning. Oh, How are you doing? So today, it's so early. <laughs> today is the 28th of June, mm. and we are waiting at Manchester Airport because uh, we are off on a little trip, a little holiday to yeah, Barcelona. Really cool. So yeah, it's it's about five to four. Yeah, it's four. Um, yeah, it's exactly we're four. really tired. We got um, here at what time? Was it like two ish? Yeah. They said like to be here like three hours before our departure, but we were like, yeah, let's do four. The Manchester airport has been crazy. Like they're, they're yeah. like people there, was a, there was a queue to get in, but it wasn't as bad as, as all the videos and pictures. I mean, we when we got there, it wasn't that bad, but like in ten minutes, mm. it kind of doubled, yeah. and I think like you know we three hours before it was must. Yeah. But it wasn't so. as bad as like you know the pictures you see where people queuing out to yeah. the car park. We were lucky. So. Oh yeah, yeah, that was. We're just bad. sitting in the departures lounge now, waiting for our flight. It's at like twenty past six. We haven't slept, so, so. it's. It can probably be seen because yeah. I just yeah so pretty 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 tired. At the airport we're just leaving the airport we're off to go and catch our metro now to our hotel and then we've got a little bit of a walk to our hotel because the other side of Barcelona but Pauline's got her coffee she feels a bit better now she's got some coffee yeah. and uh, yeah it's gonna take about an hour to get to our uh, hotel so quite a while but you know it's a nice nice day nice and sunny really nice and warm so we'll catch up with you later on so we just we just got to our hotel our room is not ready yet so we just went out to eat something robert has some fish with what fish is that haki 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 i don't know <laughs> um so it's like a, a little bit better fish and chips as you can see there's some egg in it uh some salad and the fish is you know not your classic beer buttered uh, fish but like other thing and i have some tagliatelle with um seafood as you can see so how's your food good yeah, so uh, obviously our room was almost ready, but the, the one that was ready was um, like two separate beds and I would prefer like a, like a double bed. Yeah. So that's why we have to wait a little bit. I will show you our room as soon as we get back. For now, we're just going to eat some stuff and then we're just going to do a little bit of like shopping because we have like this little market here. Not, that, not so little, Mercadona. Uh, one of those like uh, popular markets in, um, in Spain. So we just buy some stuff and and just chill in our room for a bit and then we'll see. So this is our room. <laughs> we have a, a double bed as we wanted. Nice and simple. It's a very nice and simple room. Yeah. Bathroom nice really nice and clean. And this is our bedroom. And then we have a little fridge as well, so that's quite cool. I don't I don't think we have like a spectacular view, but that's not the most important thing, right? And uh, yeah, uh, so now we're going to just have a shower, chill a little bit, and then we might actually go for a little walk around here. As as we just mentioned before, we're not in like a very kind of um, like the, the the kind of like city center. We're um, a little bit farther out, so we might actually go and explore, right? Yeah, let's go chill out for a bit. Yeah, and shower, yeah, definitely shower. So we're finishing the day with a nice cup of Island beer. <laughs> yeah, but look at those, those, those mugs, they're like so cute. <laughs> so we're in this place, uh, I think it's called Vienna, uh, but it's like all like, kind of like 100% uh, biodegradable, everything is like green and all. And we're thinking about having breakfast here tomorrow or the after tomorrow because it looks really nice, doesn't yeah, it? So, right, today basically we haven't done anything today. We actually no. went to the hotel and slept for a bit because we yeah. were just so tired getting up this morning. We didn't, we didn't sleep pretty much at all at yeah. night. I mean, yeah. you did some like two hours and yeah. We literally got up at like um, half 
half past one this morning and yeah, we've just been tired so yeah. we just had a walk around the the area and we're just having a beer now mm. so and then tomorrow we're gonna go into central Barcelona yeah uh, have a one day go and see some stuff we've seen before go see some new stuff yeah and then um what day are we on today Thursday uh-huh. we're going to a food store so yeah and after that we're going to some trips outside Barcelona but like yeah we'll keep you posted <laughs> Daily number two. Take number three or something because we've been trying to record this entry like for ages and then literally someone knocked at the door. Yeah, so basically mm -hmm. today, yesterday, uh, we literally didn't do that much. We just mm -hmm. end up having a drink locally. And a nap, like uh, a long nap. And a, and a nap, yeah, because it was just really tired. Mm -hmm. um, but today we're going to central Barcelona. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go and have a look around. We're going to go to some of the places that we've been to before. Well, I think we've been to like most places. So we're now going to like uh, see everything like once again, because there's no point. So we're just going to, we don't know what we're going to do yet. We just have to like, um, yeah, three. it will be a surprise a little bit. We're probably going to go to like, the Ramblers and uh, we'll probably yeah. go by the Sagrada Familia, which we've uh, seen before. It's really cool. Yeah. Uh, we might go on a cable car. We don't know. We shall see. As you can see, my um, hair is still wet, uh, but I do wear a lot of makeup. Yeah. <laughs> uh, actually, I can show you what's in my makeup bag for this trip because, you know, why not? Um, I, I, I'm not going, going to like, do like a fancy makeup every day, so it's just a great point, but I can show you. We'll just take a Two minutes right yeah right. okay yeah so i'm going to show you my makeup bag and then uh, let's we'll see you in barcelona yes so this is my makeup bag uh first of all uh look how cute this actually is i love the bag itself it actually says uh just like the moon i go through faces and that's so accurate right <laughs> uh but uh yeah i'm not really considering myself to be like a very alternative kind of like style person but i do like accessories like this a little bit darker uh i actually bought it if you're interested this is bought from um, spooky box uh, I, i'm going to link it down below but this is so cute i also, I also got a bag um which is like a matching one for it as you can see like the same quote but a little bit different uh picture and this actually has a zip as well here so uh yeah i i just love it i had to show you but let's let's just talk about the content of my makeup bag i'm going just to put it here it's not much because i'm not really going to uh, spent hours doing my makeup that will just probably melt uh, in this hot sun over here in this hot weather uh, so obviously I have a mirror uh, this is uh, from Ted Baker from like years back I um, yeah I actually like it so I just you now I'm keeping it here um, a sponge that I'm only using to uh, or I intend to use it to blend my uh, blush because I don't really have any foundation uh, it's just too hot for that um, so yeah, that's that. Um, instead of my foundation, I have a primer. This is the Pore Professional from Benefit. Um, just to mattify my skin a little bit because I put sunscreen on and sunscreen tends to be uh, quite, on me, quite like greasy looking. So just to mattify my skin a little bit, a, a primer. I also got this one here just to try it out. This is by Herborean Skin Hero. We'll see how that's going to work. I haven't tried it out yet. Um, then I've got these two products from Charlotte Tilbury. This is... Um, uh, easy well, beauty highlight one uh, that one over here uh, you can't really you can't really uh, see much no what is this blush this is high blush sorry okay high blush I think the shade is peach gasm but I'm not really like 100% sure because it just it can't really see much and then here we have beauty light wand easy highlighter uh, so yeah I'm just I want to just finish these up I'm not like a massive fan of them I know I know everybody loves them but I'm just uh, they're just okay um okay is there anything else oh yeah uh then i've got nars uh, orgasm stick and this one is actually quite cool i actually really like this product it's very kind of sheer uh, it's perfect for like no makeup look if you i mean that's not something i would just apply probably on my foundation but if you like wear uh, like a bare skin kind of look this is actually going to look really nice uh, so that's that and then I've got this to try this is milk makeup um, in shade twerk like a lipstick kind of product and this one I'm not really sure about I mean the shade is really pretty but let me just show you here it's actually very kind of like sticky 
uh, very pigmented and not really that easy to blend on your cheeks. I mean, it kind of blended nicer now that I tried, but I tried that before and it didn't really go that nicely. So I think this is probably going to be used by me as my lip color rather than anything, but I'm going to give it a go. Uh, maybe tomorrow, we'll see. Uh, okay, so some eye products now. I've got a um, an eyeliner by from Ico. This is Black Magic. I don't really... I mean, I don't really mind. Eyeliner is an eyeliner, so that's fine. Uh, then I've got a mascara. This is by Too Faced, better than Sex Mascara, the waterproof. I love this packaging. It has like um, droplets of water all over it. It's really cute. Uh, I decided to take um, a waterproof mascara because it's just, I mean, I don't really trust my regular mascara here in this heat. Uh, so I think this is going to be better. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, we have some eyeshadows. Uh, so this duo uh, from Wonder Beauty. This is double date in shade. Uh, I think there are two shades. Oh, yeah, Smitten and Swoon. So just to quickly show you, this is like a cream metallic. Really pretty. And then we have uh, this kind of shimmery shade over here. I actually want to wear them usually, usually one on top of the other. But yeah, that's like a really nice duo, something that you can apply with your fingers, which is important to me because I didn't really want to take any like uh, brushes with me. Um, then I have this Rowan uh, palette, and this is again a cream uh, palette, uh, which uh, I don't know. I mean, you, you are supposed to use them with your finger, like apply them with your finger. Not necessarily something I love about that palette, but that kind of makes it good for like traveling. So let's quickly swatch them for you just to show you how they look. So that's that's the palette. It's all right. I mean, you can create like a nice look, but not too intricate one. Nothing really too fancy. So yeah, I, I think that's good for traveling. Um, next up, we have this. This is again from Ico, and this is Spotlight Highlighter Pencil. So this is actually really good to highlight your inner corner or uh, your eyebrow, um, uh, under eyebrow area. So yeah, that's quite cool. Uh, I use that today too. I also use this palette, by the way. Uh, and on my lower lash line, I used this, which is Charlotte Tilbury uh, Color Chameleon, and this one is in Copper Lights. Um, I've got one more of these, so this is that. And then I've got uh, the other one over here. This one is in shade Dark Pearl. And oh, this one is much darker. So these are actually are quite perfect for like lower lash line, just to complete my look. And oh, one more eye product here, uh, Surat Hadaka uh, Lip Lacquer. So that just gives you this, I uh, can't open it now, uh, like a, almost like a wet um, eyelid kind of look. It's over here. It's actually quite nice as well. So that's that. And then I have some lip, lip products, not really that many, but because, you know, as I said, nothing really too fancy. This is like a lip oil if I want some gloss. And um, then I've got two NARS uh, lip pencils. This one is in shade Train Blue. And that's this one. That's quite dark. Uh, the one that I'm wearing today is Cruella. This one over here. It's like a really deep, deep red uh, shade, really pretty. And then I've got, again, NARS. This is Orgasm uh, Afterglow Lip Balm. So it's literally lip balm, doesn't really have much pigmentation to it. It's just like a very kind of natural, yeah, I can't really even see the shade. So it's more like a lip balm, like a protective lip balm if I don't really want to wear any color. So that's pretty much uh, my color palette for um, this trip. Uh, and yeah, these are all the products. You can just you know, have a quick look again. So nothing too fancy, but I think it does the job. Plaza de Catal Catalonia, I can't say. So right now we're in Plaza Catalonia uh, and we've just gone into, you guessed it, McDonald's <laughs> to get a quick bite to eat because uh, it's affordable. Uh, we're going to go down the Ramblers, we're going to go down to the waterfront, and we will be probably near the Sagrada Familia and uh, wherever else it takes us. Uh, Paulina's happy because she managed to get some beer. No, there's actually beer served in... Um in McDonald's, so we can get beer here, and you get to choose between.
be like normal mode. Yeah. Have to go free and go to the free. Drink responsibly always. <laughs> Yeah, so we're going to have a wander around. Uh, we'll show you some of the sights and sounds. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting. I haven't been to Barcelona in a few years, so it'd be nice to, to see it all once again. So this is the, the famous Rambler's Market, guys. So it looks absolutely insane, doesn't it? Look at all this. So you can see... Loads of chocolate on sale and fruit on sale and loads of meat and alcohol and God knows what. thing I love about walking around here is basically the smells of different foods and stuff. Apart from the get. seafood uh, alley, yeah. uh, I like the seafood, the but the scent of it is <laughs> vile. But there's some really nice smells of, of all sorts here, it's really, really cool. Well, that smells nice, that smells like some nice food over here, like garlic, butter, garlic. Look at all these spices, you can like really, really smell them, like really, really strong. Look, crazy. Really, really smell all these. Columbus. Yeah. And in front of you as well, you can see that's the cable car. Hopefully, we'll be going. Where? Well, Where can like, I see it? The, yeah, the, 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 the tower. The yeah, this okay. tower just here. That's the cable car. Okay, I think we're, go we're going to do that. I haven't done that before, so we're going to do that. Awesome. And I think this is potentially included in our um, like uh, travel card. So yeah. if it is, we'll uh, leave on all the information. Also, here, you can't see much. This is actually this building here is actually a museum, and it's got like some big ships in it and stuff. Was it here? Yeah, this is the okay. uh, museum of all the big ships and whatnot. It looks really cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't really remember that much. Yeah, I mean, the, I don't know. The port over there, which we'll, we'll go to. Yeah, and there's like a obviously a seaside, like a beach over there. So yeah. we're going to. Go there as in the well. distance, there's a little white, there's a building with a white roof. Mm -hmm. That's actually, um, from what I remember, an actual um, shopping centre. Okay, so we're going to have sangria now? Yeah, we're going to have sangria, we're going to have a walk around this area. Okay, and then to the beach and... Yeah. yeah. So, we are at the Carver University. We actually, we actually came here last time. Um, back in 2000, was it 18, 19? 18, 19. No, 2019, we actually came to the exact same place last time and we had sangria. So look at the size of these for five euros. I think usually 19. you get you get that size uh, sangria in like restaurants over here, but this one is a little bit like on the side, so it's not like in the middle of like La Rambla kind of business, so it's a little bit more like. So, uh, yeah. I can't wait to dig in. Cheers. Just had some sangria, which is really nice, uh, and we're basically just walking down to this port area. Over there, that's basically where the shopping centre is. Uh, so I know they've got loads of well-known shops uh, in there. But look at all these uh, yachts and boats and things. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, sometimes I don't think it's around this bit. It might have moved, but there used to be, from what I remember. It used to be like a market around here with loads and loads of people all lining the front selling stuff. As I mentioned before, I don't think it's here anymore or it's moved. I don't remember anything like that. Don't you place. remember? No. No, there basically was loads and loads of, of um, people selling like hats and things and uh, no it's actually uh, you can't really do that on this uh, thing i think last time it was actually forbidden as well yeah I yeah there were some people selling stuff if yeah I, I think it's moved now i think it's either moved or they've stopped it now but uh, there used to be loads of people selling hats and things all around here like just lined up absolutely loads of people it's all changed Atención. En breves momentos se va a 
just down the docks um, and we've just walked a bit further on, but me and Pulling are having a debate. Do you think these are owned by millionaires, these big boats? Master, I think they're more like cruise ships or something. They're just too big. For, like, cruise ships, or do you think they're, rich or do you think they're owned by yeah, really rich people? We want to know your comments, guys. What do you think? Are they owned by rich people or are they more like little crews? Like a single owner or rather like yeah. cruise yeah. ships. Let us know. Now we're heading. Uh, we were just sat all the way up there. Now we're basically heading around uh, this kind of dock area. So we went like around the shopping center and then we're going to the beach. Yeah, we went, we went around, around the outside of the shopping center. Mm -hmm. uh, so now what we're doing is walking around the port kind of section for, you know, the... We want to see some sand and some sea. Yeah. And then we'll just go to the uh, Gothic uh, water. Yeah? Yeah. And Robert kind of realized that the shopping kind of bits that he mentioned before, the stalls are actually there. I think they are, or they well, I mean we did see it, we actually did yeah. see some of them, but the that police turned up and they quickly well. they quickly scarpered. <laughs> yeah. uh, but this is the uh, one of the museums, the the hist history uh, of Catalonia Museum. And then now we're going to the beach. We want to see this one's more and yeah, that's that, and then we just go further. To the We're going to go to the Gothic Quarter. We decided to do the cable car tomorrow. There's the cable car over there. This is the port cable car. Um, so we mentioned earlier in the video that um, we've got the Holler BCM pass, which is like a five day pass. The port uh, cable car, apparently, from what I could read online, is not included. It's the other cable car that goes up to Montjuic Park. So. Um, do you go online and check that out for yourselves? Oh, we will um, check it, like, we'll check it and tell you. I mean, I've been on the, the Montjuic cable car before and it was really, really nice view from where oh, I'm yeah. to show you, so... Yeah, but look at this, it looks really nice around here. Water. Uh, we're just walking around. As you can see, there are plenty of those like, little streets over here. Some like shops. Oh, the pigeon. Some galleries as well. It's just a really cool kind of Harlem Jazz Club down the corner. Yeah. Quite the Sagrada. I think we've decided to go to Sagrada to, tomorrow um, because it's a bit farther, further away from where we are right now. Uh, so we're probably going to go there tomorrow. But this is just one of the uh, kind of religious buildings in central Barcelona. Uh, I'm not quite sure which one it was, uh, but it's the architecture is pretty cool. You get a lot of this in Barcelona, a lot of buildings like this. So, uh, yeah. It's pretty cool. So we done some exploring uh, earlier around the Gothic Quarter, but we just needed to have a break because, uh, yeah, yeah we've just been a long, long uh, day or two. 
So we just had uh, some drinks and we're basically going to go to a supermarket and get some stuff and then we're going to have a bit more of a wander around before heading back to our hotel for the day. So, yeah. There's a shop over there actually we just went into called Inca's and it does a lot of this South American kind of stuff. Looks really cool, but they were closing. So, uh, that's a shame, but we might go back there uh, another day uh, while being in Barcelona. So, it's been a, a busy day today, hasn't so it? We didn't plan to get here, but we actually planned to hold. We did some shopping and our like, train stop is actually not far from here. So, we're going to show you the Arc Yeah, this is the yeah, Arc de Triomphe of, uh, tri or Triomphe of, of Barcelona. So, it's pretty cool. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually really, yeah. So yeah, it's been a busy day. We're going to go and catch the the, uh, the train back now to our hotel. Uh, we might just have a quick walk round here before we do. Um, but yeah, it's been a been a lovely day today. Yeah. Also, I mean, it was quite tiring as well because it was like a whole day of walking. And... So what are we doing tomorrow? Uh, the cable car. I mean, we're that's yeah. We're going to go to Montjuic tomorrow. Yeah. Also, we might see those like fountains because we, we saw that last time, remember? Like in the evening, but I think it's around there, so we're gonna see. And I think we have like the day show or like morning show, yeah. Uh, so we can actually do that. Uh, and then we'll see because we have like one more day in Barcelona. Um, but tomorrow we're going to Barcelona Rock Fest, uh, which is my kind of my cup of tea, so I'm looking forward to that. Hey guys, so it's day three, we are at Montjuic. Yeah, uh, we took that cable car and just to clarify guys, because we were uh, actually hoping that this will be like included in our ticket price, but it's not. What is included is the funicular, which is the kind of train, was it like a train or something? It's like a two minute train that yeah, connects. Yeah, it connects a metro and station and the Montjuic kind of cable car and the cable car has to play separately. So we decided to take like a one way route because we're gonna uh, just have a nice walk back yeah. down and uh, uh, explore. Yeah, but if you're interested, I think there are like two kind of stretches of that route. So this is uh, the castle. Uh, we're yeah. not gonna go in it, uh, but we, we are gonna have a little, little yeah. explore around the area and just see what's around here. Uh, and we'll show you the the sights. Uh, <laughs> one cool thing I like is that the supermarkets here in Barcelona, you can actually get, there's like an orange juice machine, so you can actually uh, yeah. get freshly squeezed orange juice, like yeah. three It just literally 50. goes through the kind of like the, the whole oranges go through the machine and you can just squeeze it. That's really good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah worth it. So we're just walking down the hill now, um, basically back down uh, from the top of the, where the castle was. Uh, we're just going to take a little, nice little path down the hill. Viewpoint. I think there's like a viewpoint over there. Yeah. Uh, so we're just going to there. Yeah, I came. I came to part of this last time I came to Barcelona. Uh, well, the time uh, 2018, and I'm just trying to remember which part I went to because it's so long ago. Uh, but there's some really nice parts, and if I'm correct, somewhere around here there's a bar. <laughs> I need coffee for sure. Paulie needs coffee. Mm -hmm. I could do with a pint, but um. Like says, I could do with both. <laughs> she, 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 she could do with yeah. both. I could do with a pint. Uh, I'm sure there's like a little bar on top of here that me and my friend went to 
last time. Uh, so we're going to try, um, well, I'm hoping that it will be round here somewhere. Uh, from what I can see there's a fountain uh, just down here. So um, once we find, uh, hopefully find it, we'll let you know and uh, we'll show you some more views as well. Just like the media then over there. Yeah, in the distance, you won't be able to see it from here. If we can, if we can uh, get some pictures and videos from up here of the Sagrada, we will do. But yeah, once we find this stuff, we'll, we'll show you. So if you are looking for a very budget-friendly food uh, in Barcelona and you like pizza, look, look at the size of these slices. And they are like £2.40 margarita and £2.90 uh, any other pizza. And if you're interested, this is Circus Pizza. We've been here like before. Yeah, we came it's here about, nice. uh, the last time we came here, yeah. 2019. And we were actually really curious if this is going to be still open. It's not really far from... La Rambla, so yeah. I'm on the get stuck in. <laughs> <laughs> After waiting an hour to get in, we're finally at Rockfest Barcelona, woo! So, uh, yeah, we have to see a load of rock bands, metal bands. It's been a lot of fun, we'll show you some stuff around here. Day number three. We didn't show you much from the festival. Yeah, we didn't show you much. I'll be, on, I'll be honest with you, I've been to Rockfest twice, and so far this year, it's, it's, the third time, right? it's, it's not proving to be as good as it was. Uh, I don't know what's going on with the festival. There's some logistical problems or problems with contracts with the bands, but it just seems really badly organised this year. And don't get me wrong, there's some really good bands playing this year. I'm really pleased that I'm going to get to see them. And Pauline's looking forward to seeing some bands too. Yeah. <laughs> um, but there's just something going on with the festival that's oh, not quite we, right. I mean, we don't even want to show you. I don't want to complain. I don't want to be a. I don't want to put a down on things. So we saw a couple of. We we basically had a little walk around um, the Montjuic today. And then we caught a, a little train back, and then we basically um, pretty much just headed straight to the festival. Mm -hmm. And we just watched a few bands, and now we're on the way back to the hotel. We're just walking through um, very quiet a very quiet neighbourhood, not far away from our hotel. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna end it for today, but we shall see you in the morning. Morning guys, so it's day four today of our trip in Barcelona. Uh, so this, uh, we got back, um, like I said, we got back quite late last night. We didn't do much, we went pretty much. Am I on the screen or yeah. I'm just wondering if I can just continue eating or should I just stop? <laughs> yeah, so, so basically this morning we got up, we were gonna go and have a swim, but there was, so, there was too many people up on the roof. So we just hung out for 20 minutes around there and just chilled out in the sun, 20 minutes, half hour. And now I'm just having a quick lunch. So I got like a, 
soy soba noodles and Paulina got like a kind of chicken salad kind of thing a few beers and then we're off to the festival again for day number two um, there's gonna be quite a few bands playing there's one band called Alice Cooper that you may or may not know um, yeah you could have some poison so that should be quite fun so that's pretty much our plan today we'll, we'll capture of course some of the stuff going on at the festival can we get back to like um, sightseeing uh, tomorrow yeah yeah tomorrow yeah. Tomorrow we've got this day number three of the festival. Of course, but in the morning we're supposed to go somewhere. Where right? are we going? I don't know that yet. We don't we know yet. We, yet. We, we haven't planned that yet. Since we've been to Barcelona before, we are not like really fast about doing certain things. We kind of want to do what's going to be the most comfortable, like best, I don't know. Less yeah. touristy, so we don't want like being in like, crowds of people, among the crowds of people. So. That's true. So, uh, yeah, so we're going to finish our food up, head for the train, and we'll catch up with you later on. Guys, day four is well underway. We've just watched a band called Ale Storm, which was a lot of fun. Uh, we're gonna go and see another heavier band now, and then we're gonna watch Alice Cooper uh, half past nine. So, yeah, it's, it's awesome. Are you having a good time, Paulina? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's she's got some beer. She's happy. I'm happy. So yeah, all good. Welcome to Alice Cooper's Nightmare Castle. The doors have been locked, and you are doomed. Hey guys, how you doing? So today is day five of our trip uh, in Barcelona. Uh, this morning we just stayed at the hotel for a bit, chilled out, and we thought we'd start our day off by going to Sagrada Familia. So Sagrada Familia is, what is it? Kind of like a, a big cathedral. Yeah, uh, it still hasn't been finished, so there's still like building. Like we're going to show you that in a minute, but you can see that there are like the, the crane like on top of it. They still haven't finished it. and. They should finish it soon, apparently, but we don't know exactly. Yeah. It was the, basically from the brains of a guy called Gaudi, uh, and yeah, he yeah, he actually died before his vision got completed. So um, it was basically yeah, left to the hands. Crazy. It was left to the hands of some of his followers and friends, uh, and they continued uh, building it. And then, successors in general. Yeah. I think like that <laughs> and then in the Second World War, um, some of the stuff, the plans and, and that kind of thing got destroyed, so they had to go with what they had left. So they're basically trying to finish off his vision right now. So if pulling the turns with me, <laughs> I'm going to turn, and there it is. How cool is that? It's absolutely massive. So I'm just going <laughs> to... Yeah, let's just, let's just show it like from the, yeah. the other perspective. Yeah, so that is basically how it looks. It's pretty awesome. So we'll just show you from different angles as well and take some, uh, take some more videos for you. And uh, yeah.
Christina, what did you think of Kiss? Uh, it, was, it was amazing, but I'm so tired. I might just, my legs are. Yeah, I'm tired too. Kiss was amazing. Rockfest has been a bit of a hit or miss year this year, but that's not to put down the bands. The bands were awesome. I really enjoy Kiss, Alice Cooper. Yeah. So this is the the state of the uh, festival now. Kiss just performed. Feels amazing performance. Anyway, we're going to try and catch a taxi home, and we'll speak soon. Good morning. So today is day. It's Sunday. It's Sunday. Uh, this is day six. Something like that. This is, yeah, day six of eight, I think it is. We've, you know what, guys, we've lost count. Um, we got back really late. We went to the um, festival last night, didn't we, Pauline? The, the rock festival here in Barcelona. Uh, we're watching a band called Kiss, if you haven't heard of them. I don't think everybody heard of them. Yeah. Like it's like. they're this, this is a group of four guys who wear, like, black and white makeup, and they're, like, yeah, kind of, like, hard rock. Yeah. A lot of fun, and they're, they're they had loads of hits and explosions and amazing lights yeah. and oh, it, was, it was brilliant so we were we, super tired yeah we, back, we went to bed like what 4 a.m or something like that i think so yeah it was it was quite late we were waiting for a taxi for a long time the problem with taxis mm -hmm. with in barcelona is um, if you're if you're far away from where you want to go as an awkward place they won't pick you up they cancel uh, on you I a mean, lot it's I think uh, catching a taxi in uh, in Spain in Barcelona because I'm not going to talk about Spain in Barcelona is actually a bit more difficult than like in other cities they've been. Yeah. Uh, when we were here like three years ago, it was like almost impossible when it was busy uh, because I think Uber was not even there for there was yeah. kind of, like this issue like uh, Uber or something. But now Uber is working, but it's still not like really that great because no, most drivers would pick up um, rides like around around like city center. They don't yeah. really want to go. Yeah, too away. far out. So, uh, not even that far out, but like still, they don't really want to do that. Yeah, so. our hotel's not essentially central uh, Barcelona. It's slightly up, but not too far. But so, it's still a bit of an awkward place. So. Obviously, uh, we kind of wanted to do like those little trips outside Barcelona, but this is this is the way it actually ends when I don't plan things. When I'm trying to be spontaneous. I love. I mean, I don't know how about you guys. Uh, whenever we go somewhere, I love like planning, like planning every single bit. I'm that type of person. Uh, do you let us know what you do? Like when you when you're going away, are you spontaneous or are you just planning everything? Uh, I do plan, uh, and that usually works for me better because this is the way it works. When well, I'm spontaneous, uh, it turns out that there's some like disruption on the rail or something, and we're not going to be able to do trips. So we have to be even more spontaneous now <laughs> and try to find something. So today, yeah. spontaneously, we're going to see the maritime museum. Yeah. So so basically. Um we go, we're going to have a bit more of a relaxed day today, so yeah. we're, we're going to, Good. yeah, we're, we're basically going to go down to, back down to the kind of front uh, of, you know, the seafront side of Barcelona. The Maritime Museum. Yeah, there's a, there's a museum, a Maritime Museum. Which Robert um, wants to see. Yeah, I like a bit of history and culture. And, uh, and it's, we'll probably, I mean, we'll have to check, obviously, because I don't know if, uh, the Dancing Fountains. Yeah. We've seen that already, but like, uh, it might be like a um, cool thing to do if you don't really want to do anything too strenuous today. And for tomorrow, we'll just plan something more active, but I don't know what that will be yet. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. The, the museum. Um, <laughs> so, just to let you guys know, if you are coming to Barcelona and you want to go uh, to any of the museums, a lot of the uh, attractions here are paid for. Uh, luckily, this museum. That so if you if you live in the UK, yeah. you're used to the fact that museums are free. Yeah. Uh, and then mostly like, free, yeah. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. But then anywhere else, uh, you have to pay for them. So that's but this, <laughs> but this one, uh, because it's Sunday, it's free after three o'clock, which is a bonus. So that's cool. Yeah. So we're gonna go there. Um, we, we'll go probably down near the seafront again. Just a nice little wander around there. Uh, and then we're going to go, like I said, probably to these dancing fountains uh, and have a look. As for tomorrow, we have no idea yet, do we, Paulina? We're going yeah, to, of course, going to pack tomorrow. Um, <laughs> our, like pack, our flight is at uh, about quarter past ten on Tuesday morning, but we've got to be at the airport for uh, quite early, so we're going to have to leave early. Also, I'd like to mention that if you have this Hola Barcelona card, um, like a travel card, uh, uh, air, um, uh, the airport transfer 
transport like metro is also like uh, included yeah so you don't have to pay for that but if you want to take the bus I think you have to pay extra for that. Yeah, so certain bus services I think are included, I may be wrong, uh, but some aren't, it depends yeah, on the bus the number. Airport, the bus, yeah, that's not included. okay, yeah. So you need to take the metro to get to the airport, that's included in your um, uh, in your travel card, so just, just to save information that you might find useful. Right guys, so we're going to go back to drinking some coffee and uh, we'll show you a bit more later on. Hey guys, so uh, we have caught the, the metro and the train, uh, we've just got to the Maritime Museum. We've so been, now that we that we look at it, we've been there, right? We've been. We've, been, we've been in the courtyard and had a drink. So we've got oh, like a little bar outside. Court, we haven't been inside. Yeah. Oh, so we're going to go basically go inside. Hopefully, I mean, apparently it's supposed to be free know. after three o'clock. So we're going to go inside. Oh, and that's it, you have to book it or something Check like it out there. and uh, yeah, see basically, see what it's like. Um, see if it's any good. <laughs> fingers crossed. I've seen some. Uh, things through the window there's a massive boat in there apparently so yeah the building's really cool look at this it's like um got a little, little ivy and it's like really old uh, and stuff so yeah so this is the coin it's not the entrance museum it's just, just like the area but they've got like a little submarine there which is pretty cool yeah it's really nice yeah and this is the kind of bar area we had a drink in uh, over there. So yeah, it's like really, really nice. Nice here, so. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we're gonna go uh, uh, have a little bit of an explore, maybe have a drink later on as well. Yeah. And then we might go and try some seafood finally, because. Yeah, if we, we can find a place. You fish on the first yeah. day, so I guess. Yeah, it yeah. It so most of you want to have some more. Exactly. So yeah. This is actually free on Sundays, uh, Sundays after watch time. After three o'clock. After three o'clock. So uh, I thought we would be like these like failure failure testers or something. Like every idea that we had wouldn't turn out to be true, but this one actually is. So the Maritime Museum, if you're interested, is free every Sunday after three p.m. Yay! So Paulina, what did you think of the museum? It was okay, although it was not something that was like, super interesting to me. I mean, I really like the ships, especially the massive one. Yeah. Uh, um, that we're going to show you know, like, bits of it. Uh, but all in all, there was like, a lot of information about like... Uh, like that's, I think that's more, kind of more the like history, the like the naval yeah, kind, like kind of stuff, naval yeah. History, yeah. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. I mean, I thought it was going to be a bit bigger, um, but it was actually a good little size. A nice walk around. So we're just sat in the, the courtyard now outside, of course, having a lovely beer and we have an ice cream as well. Um, yeah, it was, I enjoyed it um, and I'm glad I got to see it finally. So, so we, are, we are by Rodrigo and we're having, we just had some soup uh, starters. So we had anchovies and cuttlefish, fish, which was really, really nice. And now we're having a seafood paella. Uh, they were shrimp on there, I've devoured them. <laughs> I <probably laughs> had some, but I finished them off. Um, and the food here is really, really nice. So, uh, yeah, as you can see, it Yeah, we'll tell you a little bit more when we get out yeah, because now we need to eat. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, I want to focus just purely on eating. <laughs> but yeah, guys, it's really nice.
just been to Bar Rodrigo and the food there was really, really nice. Amazing. It was really so good. good. Wasn't it? We really enjoyed yeah, it. It's just, there, it's just behind person. us. It's behind us. So the woman's sitting down pretty the, much just where that is. It doesn't look like anything um, like spectacular, yeah. but the food is amazing and the price is actually really good compared to like whatever you can find at the seafront. We uh, had like a massive paella with two starters and a yeah. big jug of sangria for like 50 euros. So really, yeah. really good. Right? Uh, and then we found it like it was like a recommendation we found on you uh, on YouTube on Google. Uh, everybody says that eating it is inside is just overpriced in general. Like you don't really get the quality you pay for. And this was actually highly recommended. Difficult to find. I mean, not difficult to find. We just came off the beaten path a bit. I mean, it's just there. If you look behind us. It's right near this place. This so. is like literally like the was a good quarter yeah? yeah pretty much but like uh we've been here around that and we didn't see that place because it's not it's, it's not something that you would actually notice straight away but definitely i recommend we're just going to leave all the information in the description box if you want to eat like a really nice seafood and we don't you don't really want to break the bank then i think that's your choice it's really nice look what we've just discovered in a shop that's coca-cola with coffee have you ever tried this uh we have and it tastes like really nice i actually quite like it i don't know about paulino but i like it it does taste like coca-cola and coffee which is quite a unique kind of concoction but no it's actually quite good and also it doesn't have sugar so yeah no calories and you have a little bit of coke and a little bit of coffee as well i guess so what's our plan now paulino where are we going uh our plans changed like we wanted to be spontaneous and i guess it just ended up being like too spontaneous maybe our plan is just to have a walk around uh, along this promenade here it's probably going to uh get towards uh the performance apparently is not on or something the, which is not the we're not really sure got mixed up a little bit, so. we're not really sure so i think it's just we don't kind of don't really want to risk it and just go there and there's nothing uh plus like we've seen that already so it's not really that much interesting to us so i think we're just so tired from the festival i think we're just quite happy to have a very nice relaxed day today and walk yeah around. we're just walking here and like enjoying the atmosphere of barcelona it's actually really nice Pancakes or something. You smell it, Robert. It smells like pancakes and they're really delicious. It's waffles and crepes. Waffles, yeah. yeah. So uh, we're just having this spontaneous kind of walk around, and I feel like we're discovering new parts of Barcelona all the time. So that's interesting, but yeah, that's how we feel. We, 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 our trip uh, didn't go quite as planned for the past two days. We were oh, supposed yeah. to go on a few day trips, so we decided to just have a couple of lazy days post festival. Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna have a walk around. Uh, so there, there's there. That's what that's the arena over there. You can see, there's actually some people on top. I didn't realise that. That's cool. Um, and uh, some cool monuments around here. We're gonna do a bit of exploring. Yeah, we're going, down. Yeah, we're going straight up there. And uh, yeah, we'll show you a bit of the area. So this is the fountain, the main fountain. 
Um, as you can see though, it's switched off currently. They usually have like light shows here, certain times of day on select days of the week. And uh, we've seen it before and it's actually really, really cool. This whole place is always usually ram-packed of people. Um, and uh, yeah, but it's, it's definitely worth coming to see. If you ever come to Barcelona, uh, and you want to see the fountain show, definitely worth worth doing it. And the other thing about the, the fountain as well is of course it's, it's got music accompanying the actual light show. Uh, so it gives you a really, really cool experience. Uh, yeah, it's, it's really cool. And the views around here are awesome. So definitely a great part of Barcelona to visit. So a cool thing about this uh, whole uh, attraction, like tourist attraction, is that you don't necessarily have to climb all these stairs. So if you don't want to, or if you can't for some reason, there are escalators on the sides, so you can literally get on to the top without having to to struggle with all these stairs. So I think that's a cool, uh, cool thing here. You see like the whole of kind of like Barcelona behind me. You can just get up a little bit further up and you should be able to see look at that. Pretty cool. Great views from here. Olympic ring in Barcelona. I've never been here. Have you been here before? Never been here. Yeah, so this is the park that hosted uh, Olympic Games, Summer Olympics in uh, 1992. It's, it's actually massive and I've actually never heard of it. I mean, I've never heard of like this park being a thing, uh, even though this is my probably fifth time in Barcelona or so. But yeah, that's actually really cool. We just we just go we'll go down there and uh, have a closer look at what they have here. But that looks quite impressive, doesn't it? Yeah. Have any of you guys been to this area of Barcelona? We'd love to know. So leave us a comment down below. so uh, we don't look very trendy <laughs> because it's really early in the morning uh, it's our last day in Barcelona it started out uh, to be like the whole day because we're supposed to be flying to uh, Manchester early in the morning but yeah. what, what what happened so it... I got I got mixed up in the times so we're actually flying out this evening so it's not 10 a.m. It's but 10 p.m. 10 p.m. So we've got an extra day in Barcelona, surprisingly. So we're yeah. going to go to the, to the pool right now for oh. an hour or so. We've got to check out by 12. Oh. So we're going to go and make most of that. Hopefully there's nobody there or, or a few, only a few people there. And then yesterday we discovered this alt uh, alternative kind of district in Barcelona. Yeah. 
it was not very well hidden. It was just there, but like, we never we never noticed so it. So that made me happy. Like, so we're gonna yeah. go there. I'm gonna go and get some food later, and yeah. then head to the airport. So uh, we'll see you later. Mm. Hey everybody! So today is the day we're going back home to Manchester. This is like a big extra day we didn't yeah. plan for. So what we did is we went to this place. I mean, Robert was actually just walking around this kind of alternative district of Barcelona. There are like plenty of shops with uh, like frog, golfy kind of Metal stuff. Metal yeah, yeah. So. And we went to this place, which is called Cambadre, and that's actually really cool. Um, if you're looking for like a really like a proper Italian pizza, uh, you can actually get it here, and they you can actually get slices. So you know, if you can't really decide inside and make a commitment, you can just get a couple of slices as well. Also, they have a really nice cocktail for like five euros. So it's really, really good. That and that's a good one. Too. So we're gonna head slowly but surely to the airport. Yeah. So we'll catch up with you guys later.